Hey, it's Sharon, and I'm here to announce our April Book of the Month. Charles Duhigg reached out to me to let me know that he had a new book coming out, Smarter, Faster, Better, The Secrets of Being Productive in Life and Business. And he wrote to me because I had written to him to thank him for his last best-selling book, The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business. And this was a very important book for me, and in part inspired my upcoming book, 365 Ways to Live Generously, Simple Habits for a Life that is Good for You and for Others. And the brilliant insight of this book is that your habits are what you choose them to be, and here's how you can create habits. So I took that knowledge, I choose, chose the habits, and then practiced them for the entire year. Uh, so this is a great book, I highly recommend it. But back to our book of the month. If you wanna be more productive but less busy, you should definitely check this out. Now, this is the first time that I am recording a video to tell you about the book of the month. And I'm doing that for, because of something I read in his absorbing data chapter. Now he says that you should share with somebody, teach them what you're learning. And of course that has been said before, but one of the things that Charles does really well is he uses stories to illustrate his points. And so I finally really got it this time. You know, I think if you're like me, you know, we are all drowning in data. I know I'm constantly reading and listening, but I don't always apply what I've learned or remember what I've learned. And he shares the stories about successful teachers and classrooms and how they're getting their kids to achieve more. And one of my major takeaways from that is that sometimes technology is just too pretty and it's too simple and there's really no substitute for getting in there with your hands and manipulating it in the old-fashioned way. So here are some of the notes that I took about this book and as you can see it is definitely not pretty. I have terrible handwriting but the act of putting pen to paper of reorganizing it, putting in your own words, is a really essential process for translating it from this theoretical process into actionable data that means something, that you can do something with. So I really got a lot out of that data chapter and highly recommend it. He also talks a lot about an internal locus of control and that you know, one of the reasons that people may not be taking action is that they don't feel like their actions will make a difference, that they're not in control of their own life. So if you wanna be more productive, if you start focusing on the things that you can control, it can actually trigger an avalanche of additional decisions into a flurry of productivity. Now I'm just gonna make one more point before I tell you how you can win a copy of this book. Um, he talks about modeling, and this is something that I talk about too, that you know, plan for success by planning for failure. Because if you can kind of anticipate the problems that you're going to encounter, and then develop strategies for what you're gonna do you know, if and when that happens, you're gonna be so much more likely to succeed. But he takes it a step further, and he talks about modeling success, envisioning success. Because if you know what success looks like, you can better notice the details, the warning signs of saying, you might need to adjust course. This isn't looking like it, what it should look like. And I thought about how this applied to my own life. And right now, I'm planning a party for a friend. And this is new for me. I have never planned a party. And I've planned for failure. I've got my checklist. I know, you know the things that I need to do but I never really envisioned what it would look like as a success. So I closed my eyes and I heard the speeches and the laughter and I saw the centerpieces and I realized that I need to postpone this date because I just don't have enough time to prepare. Um, so envisioning success helped me, um, well, we'll see. We'll talk about it at the end of the month when the party goes off, but hopefully envisioning success um, has helped me plan a better party. So I'm giving away two copies of this book and the first copy is to one of our Giving Circle members and you can visit virtualgivingcircles.com if you want to find out more about that. Um, and then one to my readers and my listeners. So if you're watching this video and you want to find a copy, you want to enter the contest to win, you can email me and say, I want to be better, faster, smarter or you can click the button below and submit your email address that way. 
Now we're going to be giving a copy away at the end of the month on April 24th, so make sure you get your entry in between then before then. So until we talk again, give, live, and love. Hope you found the video valuable, and I'll talk with you again soon.